This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, if I'm using an alpha with surface noise, how can I change the angle the alpha is applied at? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have a cylinder object here loaded in. So the question is asking about using surface noise. So if you have a subtool selected, you can scroll down here in the tool menu, and you can locate the surface area and open this up. And then in here, you'll have a noise option. And if you click on this noise option here, this will open up the noise maker window. And in here, you'll see a version of your model here. And you have some sliders on the side that you can change that will allow you to display surface noise on your model. So the question is asking about the angle in which the surface noise is being applied, especially when using this alpha on off option here and using a alpha map. So if you come down here and you click on this alpha on off, this will open up a dialog and allow you to select a alpha map to apply to your model as surface noise. So by clicking this, I now get a pop up like so. And in here I can just select one of these alphas. So I'm just gonna select this mesh tile component here and now click open. Now after you click open here, you'll see that the alpha is now loaded in down here. And now I can come over here and I can change things like the strength and I can see this being applied to my mesh. Now you can also change the scale of this and you can even change the scale of that other noise and you can even change how that basic noise is going to be applied as well. So now I've just taken this and applied it to my cylinder. Now after this has been applied, you'll notice there is some stretching on certain areas here. And so if you're using a alpha map here and your noise is in 3D mode, this map here will always be applied in a planar fashion on your model. So however you have your model framed in this scene here, after you have this alpha loaded in, it's going to apply it in a planar format based on the viewing angle of the mesh here. So if I rotate my model like this, and maybe zoom in a little bit, and now I reload in this alpha, so I'm gonna come over here and click this alpha on off again, and now I'm gonna click it one more time, which will pop up this dialog, and I'm just gonna select that alpha map again, and now click open, you'll see that it's taking this map and it's applying it in a planar fashion based on that angle. So you can see now I'm getting this effect on my model. And if I rotate around here, you can see that it is now projecting through the mesh there. So I'm getting that angle change on the surface. So if you want to change how the alpha is being applied to your mesh in 3D mode, just position your model at what angle you want this noise to be applied at. So if I angle my mesh like this, then come down here and turn off the alpha and then activate it again and select the map and now click open and that will now take that map and apply it in a planar fashion across the model. So that is how you can change the angle of the alpha there. So if I wanna go the different direction, I can rotate my cylinder this way, do that same process, so turn it off, then turn it back on and select the alpha again. And now it's going to be applied in this direction. Now, if you would like greater control of how this map is being applied to your mesh, you can use the UV option as well. And if you turn on UVs, it's going to look at the UVs that are established on your mesh and then use those to apply the alpha. So this cylinder here has some UVs already established. So if I come over here and click the UV option, it's now going to switch from that 3D option and now use the UV option. And now you'll see that since I had these UVs set up, I'm gonna be able to rotate around my model and I'm gonna get this to repeat. And I do have a little seam here and this is because my alpha scale here is off a little bit. So if I change this to say 0.5, this should now fix that seam there. So you just wanna pretty much work in solid or half or quarter numbers with this alpha scale. So that will allow you to tile that alpha correctly around your mesh there. So I can see this should be seamless. And then if you want to modify any of their properties you can just come over here and change these sliders and this will now affect the alpha map that's being applied to the UVs inside a noisemaker here. So 3D noise is always going to use a planar projection across your model based on what view it is in when you load the alpha here. And then if you have UVs turned on, this is going to use the UV coordinates of your model and then apply the alpha you have loaded in based on the UVs of your mesh. So that is the functionality of using the noisemaker 
to determine how that alpha map is going to be applied on the surface of your model. If you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!